Welcome back to Gandhi Farms, guys. I'm Eric, and this is Candace. And we have been missing in action for quite a while on the YouTubes. So we're going to update you guys on what's going on around here and answer that question. Are we quitting YouTube? Stick around, find out. Basically, we're at the end of gardening season. We've pretty much pulled most of the things out of the garden. Uh, we do have a few cabbage here that we are going to eat on uh, in the next week or so, but it's pretty much done. And we had a pretty good gardening season, except for the moles. The moles tore us up this year and not sure why we're gonna continue getting some ways around here to quit with the moles, get these moles out of here. I think we need a garden cat something i don't know we have been processing things in this garden for the last few weeks and it has been really beneficial to our homestead we've gotten a, a year's worth of a lot of vegetables here uh and it's been great we've been eating them we've been making some soups we've been using our carrots we've been using our pinto beans tomatoes tomatoes we've been using our tomatoes yes so we are pretty much just uh we got a few things to button up here we do have to take our table and our umbrella out because uh, we're not going to be sitting in the garden and enjoying it right now. It's actually pretty chilly. It's only about 40 degrees right now. Uh, this morning it was 30 degrees, so we're not hanging outside a whole lot right now. Uh, we got a couple things to pick up, and that's pretty much done. So this garden really did us good. So Candace has been in here, and she has got all of the flowers dug up out of the rows here. She pretty much pruned everything so while it wasn't 30 degrees last week i did spend some time in here and i kind of got our flower rows buttoned up for the season got everything taken out um i learned so much this flower season um about what people like what people like to buy and what i like to grow and what's easy and i learned about putting bouquets together a little bit more um so next year we're going to make a few changes so hang out for that um, now we just really need to pull a couple plants and get our garlic planted and then we are done for the season So we have got our chickens integrated here. They have done real well. We did post a video uh, a little while back about uh, Redoing the nesting boxes and the roofs and that has worked out great uh, If you guys get a chance to check that out uh, If you guys can make any of those upgrades kind of like what we did this year. Uh, we highly suggest it our Younger chickens have integrated pretty well into the new coop. Although some of them still like to fly over the fence and hang out in their old coop. Not sure why they want to keep going in this coop. There's no food, there's no water over there. Maybe they feel safer, not sure. Uh, we just kind of let them back in in the evening when we come out and feed and water them. So they've, they've been really good. They have not started laying yet. And we were really hoping that uh, we get those new chickies to start laying by now. I think it's going to be pretty much any week right now. They're, they're real close. Uh, one bad part is our older chickens have started molting. So we're down to how many eggs a day? Oh, maybe two a day. Yeah, two, three eggs a day. We were getting, you know, a dozen, 16, 18 sometimes in the summer, but... So we've got the old chickens molting. The new chickens haven't started laying yet. I have a feeling once uh, they get done with their molt uh, and the new chickens start laying, we're going to have way more eggs than we need. <laughs> so you can see our new wine dots over here. They're quite a bit bigger than the barred rocks. However, they are much more timid. Even the ginormous wine dot roosters will get chased away from food by the tiniest bar rock hens, which is kind of comical because they're so big. But it is nice having them be so timid that, you know, they're really nice to be around and you don't have to worry about them coming after you or anything. They're great chickens. This is uh, Candace's big old compost pile right now. Um, it has kind of grown and grown. We actually started with the the two uh, sets of pallets over there and we'd fill them up and keep turning them. Uh, problem is we've got so much compost now that uh, they're not going to fit over there. So I actually been just kind of pushing this with the tractor, just kind of moving it with the blade a little bit. Uh, and I've been get, still getting grass from guys at work, which is awesome. 
putting our chicken compost on. We got some leaves and whatever can is pulled out of the garden is on there right now. So this is going to be our soil for the garden for next year. Oh, the bees. How Candace doesn't like the bees. She is all the way over there right now. This bee season has been completely different than last year. This is our second year. We got uh, two colonies going here. We did harvest honey. I didn't get as much as I thought I was going to get, but we still ended up with roughly three and a half gallons of honey off of it. Um, we just got them kind of locked down right now. I do need to get some quilt boxes on there and treat for varroa mites here real soon. But all in all, it's been good. We did get stung a couple times this year, so we've been a little bit more timid with it. But uh, I think that happens every once in a while. You might get a little sting. Um, last year we didn't get any, so we were uh, we got a little we got a little comfortable around the bees, and then uh, this year. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't the same, but we still enjoy them. They do great with pollinating our garden, and we're going to try to get these guys through the winter, and hopefully we'll have our bees live through and be able to pollinate next year's garden as well. As you can see, Candace has not cut her allotment of wood yet this year either. We've been so busy around the homestead doing other things that we have only cut wood, I think, one time so far this year. So we are really going to buckle down and get on that uh, very, very soon. We are right in the middle of bow season here in Michigan. So we've been doing a lot of hunting, and it's real hard to get out from work, get in the woods, sit in the woods for two hours or three hours, and still record a video or cut wood or do some of these other things. So we've been real busy with that. And it's just the time of year around here. We need to... Uh, we. We supplement our food supply with venison. So that's something that we eat a lot of around here. Everybody eats it. So we are very vigilant of going out hunting and trying to trying to tag a deer. Uh, has not happened yet. I will keep you guys posted on that front as well. Uh, it's just been real slow here in Michigan. Weather's well, been up and down. That's how it goes. But uh, yeah, we're going to get Candace cutting some wood here real soon and we're going to get this filled up so we can heat our house and so we can use it for maple syrup maple syrup season and that's coming up here in eh, a few months we gotta start thinking about things we need to start getting our stuff around getting our supplies around we'll update you guys on that real soon so we have been super busy around here like we've said and we've got uh you know a couple couple kids still in school and they are real busy with all their extracurricular activities that's kept us pretty busy this year along with the hunting and trying to process the last few things out of the garden we've been uh kind of run ragged around here <laughs> one of the kids is a senior so we're doing all the senior things yeah. and um i've been hunting this year quite a bit more so i haven't been inside cooking anything or other than soup to warm us up when we get in from hunting right but yeah so basically we've been real busy and sorry we haven't been on the youtube but um to answer your question yeah are we quitting youtube candace no we're not quitting youtube <laughs> we've just been busy <laughs> why would we quit youtube we've got so many awesome followers out here we can't quit making content for you guys and showing you how we do things around here at Ganya Farms. And we love making videos for you guys and we're gonna to continue to do that. It's just been a little bit of a slow month here and uh, we're gonna get right back on that horse. We got some cool things coming up. We've got- Some cooking videos, yeah. some hunting videos, prep for maple syrup season, all for that sure. good stuff coming yep. up. We got holiday season coming up. We've got some cool stuff planned for you guys. So you guys make sure to stick around We've got some awesome stuff planned for you guys. Some stuff you guys probably never seen around here. So we appreciate you guys hanging out, sticking with us, and enjoying all this awesome content. This is our quick little update video for you guys. We appreciate it. And we will catch you on the, on the next, next one. one.